about what you've talked to the team about and then what the plan is for getting ready for your next game in six days? Yeah, I, I told them, you know, the once is an anomaly, twice is a coincidence, three times is a pattern. And um, I, I, I promise you, I promise the Al fans, you know, we, we spent an exhaustive amount of time uh, over the bye week uh, studying second half, play calls, uh, red zone, both sides of the ball. Uh, even to the point where we, you know, my my tone uh, was different with the team at halftime. We went out a little bit earlier so they could they could uh, warm up. You know, we're we're uh, trying to uncover every stone as to you know why in the second half um, we um, we don't play as well. And obviously, I got I have to look at myself, and uh, we as coaches need to look. Um, because it, it doesn't, it's a bit perplexing, I, I gotta be honest with you. Um, you know, to, to see the same, I know offensively, to see the same looks defensively and have the same calls that were successful in the first half not be, um, you know, it's, it's um, perplexing uh, and, and same uh, defensively. So um, we, we need a, a big shot of confidence right now and, um, my biggest challenge, our biggest challenge as coaches, I, I think, um, you know, with a short week on the horizon, I think our guys um, will be able to move on from this pretty quickly. Uh, we've, we've got to figure out what we can do well and what we can sustain doing well, you know, because you, you don't ever want to be a jack of all trades and master of none. And, you know, I, I think part of offensive and, and defensive football. Um, you know, you poke and prod a little bit early and you find things that, that work and uh, things that give you uh, an advantage. And um, those same advantages were, were still there in the second half and, and for some reason we didn't capitalize. So um, it's a bit perplexing right now, especially considering uh, the, the time, effort, and energy that, that we put in um, to correcting some of those mistakes that, that showed up again tonight. So um, I don't have great answers right now other than, um, you know, again, we've dug ourselves a hole and uh, it, the first thing we got to do if we want to get out of this hole is we got to stop digging. We, 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 we got to stop uh, being our own worst enemy. Um, and then you know, we, we've got a confidence issue and I'm, I'm I'm trying like hell to make these guys believe how good uh, they can be. I don't know what more evidence you need than uh, to watch us uh, for extended periods of time uh, look like, you know, a, a well-coached, uh, well-executing football team. And, and then something happens. And uh, again, I'm a bit perplexed right now because we did put so much time and energy uh, into correcting it, but uh, there's no rest for the weary. We, we got to get back up tomorrow and um, figure out a way to um, not beat ourselves. We, we, not worry about East Carolina as much as uh, not beating ourselves. So it seemed like uh, USF had to sort of hold the momentum there when they stopped on when they stopped uh, FAU on fourth down um, deep inside of their territory. Do you think is that a scenario where you guys are always going to be aggressive? And, and looking back on it, is there any regret having gone for it there? No, no. I, I mean, we we got to do a better job. But if if we can't make one yard um, when we have to, I, I mean, we're we're going to have a lot more. Uh, problems than the decision uh, as, as to whether to go for it or not. No, I, I don't. We'd miss two field goals. Um, no, we got to do better. We got we, I got to um, figure out what we can do better. So coach, you go into halftime, what was the tone and the type of talk that you had to your team? All right, for it. I had at halftime, okay. You know, you tell them we have to keep this up, or what? What do you tell a team that's up at halftime, let alone you don't know what's going to happen? Yeah. In the second well, half? 
again, it was, it was a bit different. You know, I, I wanted them to see, you know, that how well we were playing and, and the good things that we did. I, I told them we missed one tackle on, on defense, which led to a huge run. Um, we should have had more guys there. We're going to miss tackle. Um, and we should have had more guys there to, to help. And then offensively, uh, you know, we needed to finish uh, a drive there. Uh, I think it was in the second quarter. But I reminded them. I said, guys, you're, we're on track. <laughs> you know, we, we, we're, we're on track. Um, we're, we're making yards. We're stopping them, say, for, for one drive. Um, and that was different for me. You know, normally it's, hey, we can't have the, you know, missed tackles or we, we, we got to be able to finish, you know, and, and it was more trying to remind them of, of how well they were doing. So, um, yeah, you asked kind of what the message was, that was it. Well, on the offensive side of the ball, you know, CJ Campbell is taking really big steps every week, really improving week after week after week. How have you seen him develop from you know, the first week of the season against Michigan State from now? Well, I, I think he's understanding maybe the, the run schemes a little bit better. I, I think um, his patience um, has improved, certainly. Vision has improved, definitely. Um, but, I mean, we knew he was a good player. You know, I think our offensive line is playing better at times in front of those guys. Uh, I thought Zoo, I don't know what his numbers are, Zoo. Um, Save for that fourth down run, had a, had a had a pretty good night as well. So, I, I like I like CJ because he's so versatile. I like well, I like CJ first and foremost because he's a, a really really good teammate and a, a great leader, um, and a freaking unbelievable young man. Um, now, I like him on the field <laughs> on game day uh, because he is so versatile. You know, he's he's great out in space. He's good between the tackles. He's good in protection, you know, he's got great hands. So, um, yeah, he continues to um, merit more touches. And I think he was our leading receiver against uh, North Texas. I think he was our second leading receiver tonight, you know. So we're, we're going to continue to find ways to, to get him the ball um, on that side. Coach, your defense forced four punts in the first half, only one score. Coming into the second half, it was six straight scores. Was there something that was working them in the first half that got away from them a little bit in the second half? I wish I had good answers for you. Um, no, I mean, no, they were running inside zone counter and taking shots, and that's kind of what they were doing in the first half. And so, yeah, that's the perplexing part. Uh, we got to figure out, you know, why in the first half we were executing, and, and in the second half we weren't. So, coach. To go into the game on the national stage here, this was an opportunity to sell for Atlantic University. And of course, he had a good state rivalry with USF. So what was the, what were your players' mindsets on, hey, we're on the national stage, this is an opportunity for us to really show what we're all about, and then all of a sudden we saw what transpired as the game went on. Well, I, I hope that the, the stage doesn't matter. I hope, you know, we'd be, willing, able, and, and excited to play that game in the parking lot, you know. And so um, there was no talk. We, we've got to prove to ourselves before we worry about what anybody else in the country is doing. we we, we got to prove to ourselves how good we can be. Are there any um, updates to Goggins, the Lord? Uh, Goggins, uh, the, the one note I got, I usually ask the trainer to give me guys that couldn't return. Um, and the only one he gave me uh, was Wendell Fallord, uh, a hamstring re aggravation uh, on that. Am I missing any on that? I don't think so. Coach, it seemed like there was a, a bit of an extended conversation with Gola after the game. Was there anything of substance to that, or was that just. <coughs> no, I, I wish there was a conversation, um, but. No. All right, thank you. Hmm? Thank you.